just finished watching Kevin Mitchell destroy Daniel Estrada. Uh, I think the fight was finished in the eighth round. Um, I just switched it off as soon as um, the referee came in and stopped the fight. Now, going back in my pre-fight prediction to this fight, I did state that um, I felt Omar Figueroa was overrated. I questioned whether Daniel Estrada was world class. Um, but take nothing away from Kevin Mitchell. He put on a world class performance. He destroyed, dismantled. You could see there was a, a clear difference between um, Mitchell and Estrada. Mitchell showed great counter, counter punching ability. I said in the pre fight that he'd be looking to draw um, Estrada onto punches, bring him onto punches and throw punches. Uh, while he was trying to throw a punch himself, and Mitchell looked really good. Um, and uh, I would stick Kevin Mitchell in with Omar Figueroa without a shadow of a doubt, because I don't think Omar Figueroa is actually uh, that good a fighter. I think he brawls a lot, and I think he's open to somebody like Mitchell, who's a sharp counter puncher. I think Mitchell's for probably better better position than Omar, Fig than Omar Figueroa has. So it's not a slight in Omar Figueroa. I just think that Mitchell stands a good chance against him. Um, so it was a very good performance. You can see Kevin Mitchell has got all the skills necessary to be one of the best lightweights in the world without a shadow of doubt. The problem with me with Mitchell, as I said before, has been his mentality uh, when it comes to big fights. It's always been a case of Mitchell in big fights falling short. Again, this fight was not what I consider a big fight. It was a big fight in terms of the magnitude and how much it meant, but this is not a big fight in terms of, you know, you're fighting for a world title. We need to see now Mitchell fight in for the world title. Can he do that at the highest level when it really matters? If he fights the way he fought tonight against Figueroa, I'm going with Mitchell. Um, I think he punches well in punches. Um, I think he you see some very good work off the ropes, defensively, excellent head movement. And like I said, I think Mitchell is a, a, a very good lightweight. Um, and it looks like he's matured um, as a fighter and his worst days are behind him. Um, I thought that when he fought Ricky Burns, he wasn't, he wouldn't have beat Ricky Burns because I didn't think he was in a good place. I think if you put Ricky Burns in the ring now with Mitchell, it'd be a great fight. I tell you, a fight I wouldn't mind watching would have been uh, Kevin Mitchell against Adrian Broner. Now, that's a fight I'd like to have seen because um, Mitchell would be walking in straight lines. He can pop a bit. And he's got a good movement. I think it would be an interesting fight. But, you know, um, looking forward, as I said, I look forward to seeing, I think it's Linares they're trying to get Mitchell in with. I think he stands a good chance against Linares. But I would go with Omar Figueroa fight because Figueroa will just come forward and brawl. And when he gets in close, he leaves himself open as well. He does, flow, he does throw, um, he, as you saw against uh, Estrada, the way that um, Mitchell fought him, he didn't even make it look close. It wasn't even close. Whereas with Figueroa and Estrada, it was a back and forth exchange, and there was none of that. So um, I'm always dubious though when fighters come from abroad and they come to the UK and they fight when on and they come and arrive a week before the fight. You know, I don't think they get enough time to acclimatize. Um, not that I thought it would have made a difference anyway for someone like uh, Estrada because he was pretty straight up, and a lot of people like kind of take off take uh, Mitchell's skills lightly. He's one of the best skilled British boxers there are at the moment around. I mean, actually skilled in terms of he can move in and out, can move from side to side, doesn't know how to move his head, can judge distance and timing, can counter punch, can can fight going forward, can fight going back to fight side to side, very good quality fighter. And uh, I don't think the British public really recognise how good a fighter Kevin Mitchell is. His preparations outside the ring have always let him down previously. But we put that to one side now and we can really look forward to Kevin Mitchell fighting for a world title. 
I'm excited to see Kim Mitchell fight. Um, I, I have to be honest, I did say that I wasn't interested in seeing Kim Mitchell fight because, you know, of all the letdowns previously, but he's regained my trust, I think, and I think a lot of other people out there. Uh, there are a lot of pundits tonight that believed that um, Mitchell was going to lose. Um, I'm sure they probably won't be getting booed out and they won't be getting hate mail and they won't be getting uh, told, oh, you got it wrong. Um, you'll be tuning in to Sky Sports whenever to listen to them again. But Mitchell has proved his worth tonight. And um, congratulations, Kevin Mitchell. Um, top class performance. That that was a top class performance. I'm not going to go over the top and say it was world class and it was a top class performance in the sense that you dismantled, you handled your business, you dismantled the man that shouldn't have been in the ring with you and was made to look good by another guy who, was, who wasn't that great anyway. So, yeah, uh, if they can get Figueroa over to the UK, that would be a great fight. But I think they're going to go for Linares now. So we'll see. Those are my thoughts. Um, love to know what you think about the fight and how you thought. Did Kevin Mitchell look good to you? Who would you put him in the ring with? And um, do you think he can win a world title? Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'm out.